When we're looking at our Drone as a First Responder program, we're looking at what the future of law enforcement is. And it became very apparent to us that in order to become the most efficient, we really needed to remove the visual observer from the roof. D-Drone Beyond with matrix-based radars allows our operations to be conducted with a single operator, freeing up what we would normally have as a human visual observer on the roof, we can now do with one person operations. Flying without a visual observer has been one of our priorities for a long time and our staff in coordination with the Drone Beyond and Matrix Space in partnership with the FAA has ultimately allowed us to obtain this groundbreaking waiver that we are incredibly excited about. Taking our DFR program to the next level our DFR operations are um, much more robust. We have drones in the air much more frequently. And ultimately, we're creating a safer environment for our community and the officers who are protecting it. Ever since I've been with the Campbell Police Department, we've been a very technology forward thinking department. Using this technology is just the next step in evolution of serving our citizens of Campbell. When we've adopted technology, we've been very transparent about that adoption. Part of that has been creating this transparency portal where people can go and see the flight paths of, of the drone flights and being very intentional about how we use DFR, meaning that it's a, a response to 911 calls for service. There's not random surveillance. And when you do those things, it does build trust in the community. While I was extremely excited to hear the news of the FAA approval, I can tell you that I, I've had many conversations in the last couple weeks of community members who are so excited and proud to be members of a community that's at the forefront of leveraging technology to change how police are responding to, to calls in their cities.